In this video, part of our .NET Nuke 6.2 Awesome Cycle series, I'm going to show you how to log in and update your profile information for your user account. So the first thing we're going to need to do is on our .NET Nuke 6.2 website, we're going to click on the login link and log in with your user information. Now I'm going to log in with the administrator account for this particular website. And you can see as soon as I'm logged into that administrator account over on the right side, we have administrator account there in the top right hand corner and it shows basically a unknown user uh, profile avatar. So what we can do is go ahead and click on our name up there and that will take us to our profile here in .NET Nuke 6.2. From here we can click on the edit profile option on the left side and that will take us to the manage profile interface. Here we can come in and start typing in information about our profile. So I'm going to provide some basic information on my user account here, changing my first name and my last name. Now when I'm updating profile information, I can control security for each of these profile fields by clicking on the lock icon on the right side of the page. What that allows me to do is to choose who's going to be able to see this profile information. So there's a couple different options, public, members only, admin only, and then friends and groups. Public means anyone viewing the website who has access to the profile page can view this information. Members only means only people who are logged into the website. Admin only, only for administrators. And then friends and groups. So as soon as you implement the friend and group functionality in .NET Nuke 6.2, you can also restrict profile information to those groups and those individuals. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do here is provide a city choose to make that public as well. You can see it defaulted to admin only. And before I choose a state or choose a region, I'm going to go ahead and choose our country, United States, which will then populate the region drop down list. And I'll choose the state of California here. Now you get to decide, like I said, for each individual user, they can decide what profile property should be visible to the public or individual users. And then finally, I'll come in and pro populate a little bit more information here and then a biography as well. So I've pasted in my biography information in here. I can also control the visibility of that. And then there's some additional profile information at the bottom. I am going to upload a photo here to use for my avatar. So I'm going to choose the upload file option. That will then allow me to browse for a file. And I'm going to browse to a folder here on my local machine where I already have an avatar that I want to upload. So I'll go ahead and click Save File. That will upload the file. And we can once again control visibility on that. Click on Update. And that will update our profile information here on our user account. If we go ahead and navigate back to the home page here, it hasn't yet updated the information in the top portion of the page. But if we were to view our profile again, click on the administrator account, we can see that the photo has been uploaded. And if we were to click on the My Profile option on the right side of that menu, we can see that profile information stored here within our profile. Other videos in the Awesome Cycles video series will show you how you can come in and start to customize the profile pages and the settings for those pages.